Hot damn. That's what I said the first time I saw this new JWST image. I can't even really put my finger on what I like so much about it, but I think it's so awesome. The colors, the shadows, and the clouds in the center, the beautiful background galaxies, and even the bright foreground star glowing in red, white, and blue. It's all just so good. So let's talk about what we can actually see in this awesome image. This is an image of a galaxy called iZwicky18, as seen by the incredible James Webb Space Telescope. It's a galaxy that lives 59 million light years from Earth, and it was discovered in the 1930s by prolific Swiss astronomer Fritz Zwicky. Just by saying his name, I'm obligated to show you this photo of him. All space YouTubers or academics that mention him in a talk know that this is the case, but it's the burden we choose to bear. Zwicky 18 is a very small galaxy. It's recently undergone several bursts of star formation, and we call this type of galaxy an irregular dwarf galaxy. We can see two of the major starburst regions in this image, and the young stars appear as blue and white dots. The two lobes that they appear to form are the two regions of star formation. As these young stars form, they release heat and ultraviolet radiation in the form of solar winds. This heats up bubbles of gas around them, visible here as wispy brown filaments in the central regions. These new observations from JWST suggest that the star formation in the two lobes began at different times, which is why we're referring to them as truly separate regions. We think that the strongest and most active and violent star formation happened more recently in the northwest lobe. We think this because the stars in the southwest lobe look older meaning the star formation in that lobe probably happened longer ago. I really like how this galaxy pops out of the center, almost like a portal to another world opening up in space. JWST's incredible resolution and light collecting power really shows off the textures, shadows, and colors at play in the galaxy. And I think it's awesome. In this wider image of the scene, we can see a nearby companion galaxy towards the bottom of the image. This companion is close to the main galaxy in the image, and it may be interacting with it enough to have actually caused some of that star formation. Even cooler than the companion galaxy, though, are the many, many faint and distant galaxies that we can see in the background of the image. There's so much amazing science right there waiting to be done, looking at the shapes, colors, and distances of all of these beautiful background objects. It is so much fun zooming and panning in and around the image to find cool looking background galaxy and interesting shapes. So please let me know if you can find anything that particularly excites you in the comments down below. I mean, something that excites you in the image, you should let me know down below, not something that excites you, you, you know what I mean. There's also a very bright spiked star in the top right of that wider image. Even though this is just a nearby Milky Way star getting in the way of this image because it's in our line of sight of Zwicky 18. I think the colors on show in the star do add something beautiful to the whole scene, even though it's just one of those stars. The goal of the research that this image is a part of is to study the life cycle of dust inside the galaxy iZwicky 18. I know that dust might not sound particularly interesting. No, that's the end of the sentence. No, no, I am kidding. Dust might not sound super interesting, but dust in space, space dust, is responsible for some incredibly interesting and violent processes that we really do want to understand. It can be the fuel for forming new stars, and young stars are really complex and hard to study. They're bright, but they're small and far away, a deadly combination. This new work is building off of older science that used the Hubble Space Telescope to study stars at wavelengths of light that our eyes can see, visible light and JWST is using infrared light to observe individual dusty stars in incredible detail. This galaxy is particularly interesting because it has a very low amount of heavy elements in it. By that, I mean it mostly contains hydrogen and helium, and anything heavier than that, which is 
all of the other chemical elements, is only present in very small amounts. These sorts of conditions are usually present only in incredibly distant galaxies that are forming stars for the very first time. So it's surprising and interesting to see such metal poor conditions in a reasonably nearby galaxy. That's because these elements form inside stars. So galaxies that haven't formed stars before tend to be very metal poor. And this is normally the oldest galaxies. It also means that this galaxy might be behaving and evolving in similar ways to much more distant, ancient galaxies, meaning we can study the conditions of the early universe by using this nearby galaxy, which is super useful. Such early galaxies are normally very small and faint from our point of view, so being able to use nearby, brighter galaxies to help us understand them is a huge benefit. Leave me your opinions on this image in the comments below, and thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, stay safe team. I'll see you soon. Bye.